All right, now what what are you guys doing? Well, like this line here. What is this line slope? Two. We'll call it M1. What's this guy's slope? Can you just tell? Why can't you tell what this guy's slope is? It's not in the right form. I love it. How do you get it into its final form? Yeah, so how do I solve for y? The first thing I want to do is add x. And then divide by 2. So to write this a little better, I would write this as y equals 1 half x plus 3. So what's this guy's slope? 1 half. So are these parallel? No freaking way. They have to be the exact same to be parallel. Are they perpendicular? Yeah. Are they? No. What would have to be true? One of them would have to be negative. negative. So it's okay. You can be neither. You can meet, but just not at 90 degree angles, right? Parallel and perpendicular are extremes. You can meet at all these different angles. All right, you guys doing all right? You look a little rough. All right. And you're like, you don't look so good either. Oh, I didn't mean it as an insult. Some of you guys look like you need an early morning nap before coming here. Yes? I just said M1 for the first line and M2 for the second line. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. As a math guy, I can't have M equaling two different things. That just freaks me out. So the first slope and the second slope. My bad. No, 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 no. Good, good, good point, but no. All right. Now let's see about this one. Try number four. Just make sure everybody's on the right track with this. To use mx plus b, I have to know two things. I have to know m, which is the slope, and b, which is the y, y piece of the y-intercept. Which one of those two things do I know just directly? They just tell me directly. Yeah, they give me the y-intercept. So what's b? So I focus all my attention on figuring out what the hell m is. Did they give me information to figure out what my slope is? Yeah. yeah. My line is parallel to that line. So this line, what's the only thing I care about this line? What do I need to know about this line to figure out my line? I need to know this, this guy's slope. That's the only thing I care about. I don't give a shit what anything else is going on. Can you see the slope? Well, so what about, you got to get y by itself, right? Okay. So I know that B is negative 3. Check. Now i got to figure out what the slope is. What do you get when you solve this for Y? 2X minus 1 like. So what's this guy's slope? This guy's slope is 2. So my slope is 2 because it's parallel. So what's my equation then? Y equals 2X minus 1. Here. So again, be really careful. When I do this, that's that line. That's not the answer to the question. My question is parallel to this line. Shit. So what's the only thing I care about for this line is the slope. So my slope is 2, and I go through this point. So my equation is 2x, that's my slope, minus 3, that's my y-intercept. What's that line's y-intercept? Zero, negative one. Do I care? No. I don't give a shit. <laughs> right? That's not anything that I needed to know about him. I just needed his slope because I'm parallel to him. Sometimes I've been known to be evil, and I'll put like a, like a square root of 11 here. Because who gives a shit what it is? I just care about the slope. I'm parallel. Whatever problems this line has, I don't care. I just got the same slope. That's all. Maybe. See what I mean, though? When you have a question that says... See how I can reword this? Find the equation of the line that is parallel. See, when you have that kind of question, find the slope, find the y-intercept. Whatever they gave you, try to do that. Focus on those two things. Because then what do you do? Put them in, and you're done. Right? 
Okay, maybe. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, this might be interesting. Here, try to do this one. I like this one. This is kind of going to be a little better than the one I tried to do earlier. This is page 36. Well, that looks freaky. There we go. There is my super suit. Alright guys, so help me out. What's B? Negative one. Negative one for definitely, right? Bam! Check. Done. Alright, how do I figure out what M is? Yeah. Alright, I like it. So I gotta work with this a little bit. So add X. 2Y equals X plus 6. Divide by 2. So y equals one half x plus three. So then, what's my slope going to be since I'm perpendicular? Negative two. two. Yeah. So the reciprocal of one half is two. It changes sign. Negative two. So what is this uh, this other line? Y equals negative two x minus one. I love it. Now, if you haven't done this yet, so here's a better form of that one, right? Graph these two on this, graph them together. So take one, graph it, and then graph the other one on top of that. And you know what should happen. <coughs> Is everybody with me? So graph each line. You know the slope and the wider so for him, graph it. You know the slope and the wider so for him, graph it. Let me see, I'm going to graph this dude first. Y-intercept is? Good, zero, negative one. And then you go down two, down two over one. I like it. Down two over one. Wee, up two, back one. Wee. And then you try to make a straight line job. Yeah. What about this guy? Y-intercept is? Three. Zero, three. And then you go? Who is it? Up, up, up two. Two. Yeah, up one, over two, or down one, back two. And there's that one. Now look at that. That looks pretty close to a, well, we know it is, perfectly perpendicular. Is that cool? It's not a proof, but it definitely makes you maybe believe in it a little more. 
So let me officially announce that we're going to have a quiz on Monday <coughs> on 3, 4 through 3, 6. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're not done yet. I just want to tell you that right now. I love that. All right. We're going to get, look at 3-7 just a little bit. Um, let me see if they do what I want them to. No. I want to do the absolutely painful thing about showing you where an equation comes from. Oh, shit. Somebody help me out. What's M? What's the equation for M? Yes, sir. You all right? Or are you just stretching? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. All right. I'm fine. You're fine. What's the equation for slope? The change of... What the hell's going on? The construction class is right outside the door. So what do we got? We got Y2 two minus Y1. Now, on a, on a line, doesn't matter that I pick specifically x1, y1, and x2, y2. I must pick those points. That's a weird thing to say because they're like any point, but are there two specific points I must pick to get the slope? I can pick any damn points I want to. So if somebody picks this point for me, I can pick any other freaking point. So any other freaking point I want to would be x, y. That's every point on the line. Just x, y. That's the point on the line. So what the shit's that got to do with anything? I, I don't know. So instead of having a specific second point that I must use, if somebody gives me this first point, I can choose any other freaking point I want to. And of course it's going to be the same slope. I've done that many times. Is everybody... It's right. Instead of doing this, I do this. Yeah, Or I do this. Wah. They all reduce to the same stupid number. If I multiply this up, I get a whole other equation of a line. So I multiply this up. Bam, bam. I get y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that. So let's compare that to the one we knew from before. This one needs you to know the y-intercept. That's supposed to be a b there. I want to draw on the screen, I'm not going to. This one, so they both need the slope, obviously, because the slope tells you how the hell to move. This one, though, can use any point, x1, y1, any point that I happen to know. So just one quick example, and then we're out. So if I knew that my line has a slope of, of 3, and it goes through the point 2, negative 1, What's x1? Two. 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 And what's y1? One. So now I can just plug and chug. y minus y1 equals, let me just write the equation now. Now just plug and chug. y minus what? Negative 1. Because that's the y piece. Equals m. What goes there? Because that's freaking m. x minus, what's the x part piece? Two. two. And then I clean it up just a little bit. Y plus 1 equals 3x minus 6. Subtract 1. I got y equals 3x minus 7. Ah! But the big thing is this guy is more generally useful. I can use any point I know and a slope. Together, they give me the equation of a line. This is desperately trying to be 3x minus 7 there. I got a little bit excited at the end. That was a little quick because we'll get deeper into that next time. This is called, guess what? It's got a slope and a point in it. So we call it point slope. Right? It's like point break, just less exciting. No? No point break? Okay. All right. That's plenty. But please come back and get your everything, your wallets and your phones. I've gone through the wallet already. Where are you? Did you give me a... See yourself? Okay. Can somebody back there turn the light back on so we can see a little better?